Hey everybody, this is Nate Dancer with Pure Life Ministries. You're about to listen to one of the segments from our bi-weekly podcast, Purity for Life. We take you where real life meets real Christianity as we tackle the tough issues for those struggling with sexual sin. We hope you enjoy. Steve, we want to deal with a question that came in today from a young man who had gotten involved in internet pornography. He has overcome that, but he's wondering why, as a believer, he can't prevent some of those memories from coming back to him. Well, let's take a look at the dynamic of the human mind for a second, Mike. You know, a guy grows up, and he has been wired by God, so to speak, to be a one-woman man. The whole thing of puberty and the teen years and all of that is taking him in a direction of really, frankly, his wedding night. And, you know, so he's going to eventually, hopefully, get married and have that beautiful, wonderful experience of intimacy with his wife. So there is a natural sexual desire that God wants men to have. Yes, it's normal. God created it. It's a beautiful thing to the Lord. It's not something that's dirty in itself. But what happens is, like, this guy got involved in pornography, and the enemy uses that to corrupt our perspectives of sexuality. And so that's what kind of takes us down this bad path, so to speak. Now, we do have a fallen nature. Uh, How does that fallen nature play into this? Well, obviously, the fallen nature is very prone to sinful thinking anyway. And so when something like this is introduced, it's more than willing to latch onto it, so to speak. But it's not just a matter of that. There's also the whole element of what I would call kind of the autopilot of our brains. Our minds are a lot like a computer, where the computer can be operating all the time, but that can be a separate operation from the user actually typing in commands and stuff. And and that's kind of an illustration of the way our minds work, that our minds can be in this auto mode where we're really not purposing to think bad thoughts. They just kind of float in, and we find ourselves, you know, with these images that we have to deal with. Well, I'm glad you share that, because I know one of the problems that guys deal with coming out of pornography is, well, quite frankly, they can be sitting in church, and out of the blue, out of nowhere, comes this vile memory that they've had, and they weren't even trying to think of it. When that sort of thing happens, that could very well be the enemy, you know, trying to distract the person off of what is going on in that spiritual atmosphere, the enemy can come in and introduce sinful thoughts into our minds. I mean, you know, sometimes that's what it is. Okay, well, so sometimes it is uh, out of our control. Maybe it's the enemy. Sometimes it's our own weakness in wanting to pursue those thoughts. Uh, What's the answer to the problem? Well, really, the overall answer is to change our thinking. And praise the Lord, you know, God has left us with the resource to do that, and it is the Word of God. If a guy will spend time quality time every morning in the Word of God, and I'm talking about at least a half an hour anyway, you know, just really spending time meditating on, studying the Word. It has the power to wash our minds of filthy thinking, to cleanse out our memories over time, and it has the power to introduce a new mindset. The Word of God is God's thinking, It's his perspectives on life and so on. And the more time we spend in it, the more we're going to take on his perspectives. And so it doesn't happen overnight. But like I've said many times, if you don't want to be thinking the same way you are now, six months from now, then you better start getting into the Word of God every day. And speaking of the Word of God, the verse that comes to my mind is being transformed by the renewing of your mind, and how important it is for these folks to understand that it's more than just stopping your behavior. That, of course, is critical. But when it comes to actually changing our hearts and changing our minds, it is the Word of God that the Holy Spirit uses to do that. Yeah, I mean, let's face it, the images that we've introduced into our minds don't just go away when we quit looking at pornography. There's still that lingering effect, but the Word of God has the power to cleanse that away. And it's your experience, 20 years of dealing with guys in your own life, that as you establish a devotional life in the Word of God, in prayer, that those memories will fade over time. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's good news, good hope for this fellow and others, I'm sure. Steve, thanks so much. Yeah, glad to be here. Thanks for listening to this segment from Purity for Life. If you want to hear the full show, go to purelifeministries.org slash podcast or check us out in the iTunes store.